Module 4, From Perception to Automaticity, The Neuroscience of Reading. Let's try to understand. How do we become fluent readers? What is automaticity? Why does it matter? In this module, you will learn more about a fascinating story and its implications for reading voluminous text. After completing this module, you will be able to explain the basic reading processes and development of automaticity. How hard is it for you to read this screen? Can you read hiragana characters as easily as this text? Why not? All humans use the same circuitry to read. Early on, beginner's reading is halting. It is a letter-by-letter -letter conscious search for corresponding sounds. As students practice, new nerve endings develop in their brains. Like electrical wiring, the nerves connect visual and verbal regions. Wiring speeds up transmission. With further practice, people progress to recognition of multiple letters and entire words simultaneously. Brain imaging shows that halting readers activate various areas related to letter recognition. As speed increases with practice, an area gets activated approximately behind your left ear. It is called the visual word form area, or fusiform gyrus. It is normally used to recognize faces and shapes. The process is more like an airplane taxiing on a runway and then taking off. While the airplane is on the group, we decode text laboriously, letter by letter. When the visual word form area is sufficiently activated, reading speed rises abruptly, like an airplane taking off. But by the time the airplane reaches cruising altitude, we recognize words as if they were faces. Therefore, Reading fluency does not develop in a linear fashion. A graph could describe it as in the slide. After takeoff, the eyes take in five letters at once in about 250 milliseconds. The brain identifies words, and each word or phrase becomes an item. Then people can't help but read. And they can focus on the message rather than the print. Without the ability to use the face recognition circuits, humans would read very small amounts of text. Performance before and after activation of the visual word form area sounds different. The latter is more like natural speech. Therefore, common people can hear students read and reasonably judge if they are fluent or read letter by letter. Listen to a fourth grader after six weeks of training and practice given by the Indian NGO Pratham. The program consistently paired letters with sounds for two hours a day. Do you hear the difference between halting and fluent reading? We all get programmed, brainwashed to instantly recognize writing in our own alphabet. We also tolerate ambiguity, recognize letters from parts, and recognize scrambled words. Our ability to use the face recognition circuitry results in parallel processing of multiple letters. When we read, we move our eyes in characteristic patterns called saccades. The eye movements of automatic or proficient readers are different from those of beginners. In the graphs, a proficient Italian reader, shown in green, focuses about once in every word. By comparison, a reader who experiences difficulties, such as dyslexia, focuses every two to three letters and may go back to reread. Automatic readers can read words whose letters were cut in half. 
Can you read these sentences? What color are these words? Name them fast. Did the color of the word confuse you for a moment? Did you first notice the color or the meaning of the word? As you see, we recognize words faster than we note the color of their ink. Now recall the hiragana characters you learned. Take a moment to review them. What is the color of the word below? What is the sound of the word? Did you perceive the color before reading the word? If you saw the color first, you are still reading letter by letter in hiragana. Faces are not easily recognized upside down, and neither are words. Look at the eyes of the readers and the location of the book. Is the first person to the right able to read the text? Is she practicing reading right now? Remember from Module 3 that beyond the center of our vision, print looks blurry. A buddy reading project was implemented in Kenya, but it did not help many students read better. Look at one picture. Are all students in the group able to read the textbook? People recognize the letters presented briefly within words faster than they recognize isolated letters and letters presented within non-words. This is a sign of automaticity. To obtain this effect, the students ought to know the language they are reading. However, the effect is rather modest. Knowing words helps predict how they will end, but automaticity in recognizing letter combinations seems more important. Insights about automaticity have been obtained through neuroimaging methods. Functional magnetic resonance imagery and event-related potentials are used often in high-income countries to study reading functions. Eye trackers track eye movements. They can give information on problem areas where students look at persistently. They can also measure reaction time to letters and words. Equipment for event-related potentials is portable and could be used in low-income countries for research. Accuracy is as important as speed. When students make many mistakes, they misunderstand. They must reread and thus use up their working memory. For effortless reading, nearly 100% accuracy is needed. Accuracy easily rises to 100% in consistently spelled languages using the Roman script. By contrast, syllabic scripts are more visually complex and students may make many mistakes, even in grade 4. To improve accuracy, students need corrective feedback, and many poor students get very little. Early in automaticity, students may read without expression. As they read faster, they detect letters with the peripheral vision and get semantic cues from the upcoming words. If they understand them, they then read with expression. Excessive reading is called prosody. Fluency has a similar connotation, but it is also used interchangeably with speed. Puso muchos huevos en un estanque. De uno de los huevos nació Tomás, el pequeño renacuajo. Luego de unos días, a Tomás le creció la cola. Aprender a leer es el proceso más importante en la educación de los niños. Es una habilidad esencial para todo aprendizaje futuro y más. Su cola se reducía. Attainment of automaticity is only the beginning. Practice increases speed and efficiency in extracting information from the text. Learning curves on various repetitive tasks show an initially big reduction in reaction time that eventually levels off. To slide down the learning curve, many hours are needed. Students in the United States who score at the 98th percentile may read 4.7 million words per year or 67 minutes per day. 
Those scoring in the 10th percentile may read 51,000 words per year, or one minute a day. Without explicit instruction and practice, reading speed does not increase. In this 2009 video, 7th graders from a public school of Burkina Faso are reading 85 to 105 words per minute. By contrast, 7th graders in the United States read on average 150 words per minute. Students from a private school in Ouagadougou are approximating the American student's speed. Listen to these children reading. Il sacrifie prit un peu de terre, la supéza, le grasa, la frotta dans ses pupons, la humain et lentement, à hauteur, à hauteur de jeu, des yeux. Il la laissa couler fine entre ses doigts. Unfortunately, students who become fluent late may always read slowly and have limited comprehension. For example, if students finally learn reading in grade 6, they may read only 70 words per minute in grade 8. They may get no books in secondary school, so speed will not increase much. If they get to university or teacher training colleges, they may be unable to consult complex reference texts. At 110 words per minute, it takes about five minutes to get through a page. If we are automatic readers in the Roman script, we can read anything in it, from Turkish to Bahasa. All we need to know is pronunciation rules. To actually learn the language is a different process, but if we already know the script, we will not struggle with the letter shapes. This concept is the basis for teaching children of minority languages to read in their own language first. However, this only happens within the same script. Automaticity in the Roman script does not usually help learn another, such as Arabic or Armenian. Only phonological awareness and general reading strategy transfer. If you read German fluently, can you read Finnish? What processes will be different? Does your ability to read in English help you learn reading in Arabic? Can there be automaticity without comprehension? We can recognize people whom we have seen, but whose names we do not know. Similarly, we acquire automaticity in a language we do not know. We can do this because our brain keeps frequency statistics. Some cultures expect children to learn reading in ancient languages for ritual purposes. For instance, Arabic, Hebrew, or Sanskrit. There is a tendency to believe that this is not real reading. However, the criterion is a visual word form area activation rather than comprehension. Fluent readers can later study languages associated with that script and understand. Traditions of ritual reading have resulted in the writing of local languages and scripts such as Arabic. See videos on Quranic reading from the Maldives. Notice the fluency, but also lack of prosody, which suggests lack of understanding. Ability to attain fluency becomes difficult after age 18. Some circuits related to the visual word form area may have a sensitive period and decline in function during mid-adolescence. Adult participants and graduates of literacy courses remain halting readers who process little text with difficulty. This is one of many reasons why automaticity must be attained in childhood. Children that attain fluency and continue to read do not normally lapse back into illiteracy. Fluent readers who drop may maintain or improve reading skills, but halting dropouts may forget what they knew. Eventually, automaticity becomes permanent. Research is needed to understand the prerequisites of permanence. 
However, current knowledge leads to an instructional goal. Children must become fluent readers in grade 1 or grade 2 at the latest. When we obtain automaticity, we can't help but read, just as we can't help but recognize known faces. The brain identifies entire words, but individual letters are still visible. Our visual system processes four to five letters at once, as if they were people's facial features. We require a tolerance for ambiguity, scribbling, calligraphy, just as we can distinguish our friends when they grow a beard or are seen in profile. These qualities are, are required for effortless processing of long texts. Then we focus on the message rather than the print.